This is Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at the Actors Co-op for their presentation of Summer in Smoke by Tennessee Williams. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with... Tara Batani. I was born in Iowa, and I was raised in Austin, Texas, and I live, lived here for about uh, 11 years, 12 years, and I've been doing theater since I was about seven. I've played Alma. Um, Alma is a minister's daughter who's um, been in love with her next-door neighbor since she was a child, and she's sort of this odd, endearing, sweet, uh, sexually repressed woman who's just kind of doesn't know what to do with herself. She's she's a little bit of a mess. I love the way you played the character. I mean, it was fantastic <laughs> acting because there's so many levels, so much vulnerability. But it's also so much strength behind it. Thank you. I appreciate that. It was it was it was a challenge. How how so on the challenge for leading actors? Sometimes I, I say, well, leading actors are just playing themselves. I mean, did you just look at yourself, or did you did you really have to, you know, build build up the backstory? Well, I actually didn't even want to audition for this show because I didn't think I was right for the character. So um, I, I did have to sort of really work on her and figure out what you know little things about her and how I could make her real and not such a cliche and and I mean she's very endearing she's lovely she's just sort of scattered and she's got all these things happening to her so um, but yeah I did have to work on her quite a bit it was a huge challenge to to get through it and um, but I had him so he was really helpful he, if I didn't have him I think I would be pretty bad at this so that's the truth. Okay, you're pointing at your... Pointing at, I'm pointing at my co-star. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, well, Austin, another question. Um, I, a lot of my listeners are community theater actors, or they're the students. What kind of advice can you help them to get along with their career? I mean, I, I think theater is the best training on earth. I don't think there's anything like it. I mean, it forces you to stay in the moment. It forces you to really be real. Um, I don't think there's anything better than doing stage. So get on. I, I say get on stage as soon as possible and continue to do every play you possibly can. Once again, I loved your performance. A very complex character, very layered character. Yes. And at times I didn't li like her, but I yes. loved her. No, <laughs> so. you do love her. She's, she's, you do love her. You're just kind of like, what is, what's your problem, Chit? You know, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, she's, she's a scattered mess, but you do love her. She's, she means everything she says, you know, so. Okay. Thank you once again for being on the show. My pleasure. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with Gregory James. I was born in Buffalo, New York. I got my Bachelor of Fine Arts from the University at Buffalo. Moved out here right after graduation, been on here about five years, and this is my third show with the co-op. And which character did you play? John Buchanan Jr. He's, uh, he's a recluse, you know. He just finished, uh, graduated top of his class at Johns Hopkins, and, and he has the entire world ahead of him, but that's the last thing he's, he wants. He wants the freedom. He wants to get out of his small town, uh, and he does that through drinking and through, you know, sexual exploits and gambling. Um, and he realizes that what he needed all along was right in front of him in Miss Alma, his, his next door neighbor. And, uh, and she teaches him that. She definitely makes a change in him due to uh, some really devastating circumstances. But uh, he takes a journey, and it's, it's, it's something really strong and powerful that I had to go through, yeah. You know, Buchanan, he was the, one of the worst presidents <laughs> ever in the United States. At the end, when he, he actually handed over the presidency to Lincoln, he was just said, this is terrible. <laughs> well, I'm the junior, so I'm not going to take credit for any of that that, that happened back then. <laughs> yeah, as for your character, again, I, I, I love the way you played your character, because, again, it was a very dark character. It wasn't, you know, just some, some romantic hero, some doctor who was just nothing but eye candy and all that. I was just a stuffed shirt. Well, he was a stuffed shirt. <laughs> but basically, I, just lo I love the, the rawness, the grittiness he put in. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, and, and like Tara mentioned, there's, there's, there are so many layers. Tennessee Williams writes it so well that from beginning to end, as long as you start on the right note, it's like a song. It's going to take you on the journey. You're going to hit all the notes along the way, um, and those are some really, you know, different notes that you have to hit. There, there is a very, you know, there's a sexualness to him. There's, there's this driving force behind him that you think is driven by just a rebelliousness, but it really is that. Um, that that passion that he has, and he needs to find a place for it. It's actually written in the in the script. Uh, he needs to find uh, an outlet, or it will it will destroy him. And that's that's kind of how it is. Yeah. So how did you get into this character? Because again, again, like I like I said just a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. I usually don't love leading actors because I think they're just playing themselves. But I love villains. I love anti-heroes. I love character actors. This 
person really wasn't a hero. He was more. He was actually more of an anti-hero. So how, how did you draw? I mean, are you just a are you just a jerk behind <laughs> things? <laughs> no, I'm I'm actually extremely uh, shy. So having to just kind of branch out and be that just open person, you know, let it all fly free. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, Strasbourg relaxation and sexualness kind of brought that out. Um, but a lot of Meisner and Lloyd Richards just honesty, looking Tara in her eyes and speaking to her truthfully in the moment. Um, you know, great teacher of mine uh, used to say, don't get it right, get it true. And that's what it was. It was really, it's just, once you find what you're saying is true in the, in the moment, it all kind of follows because Tennessee was such a fantastic writer. I mean, it's all right there for you, right in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, once again, uh, a lot of my uh, viewers are community theater actors or students. Any kind of advice you can give them to help along with their careers? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, grad, or, uh, uh, undergrad, college, it's, I get it, it's expensive, it's difficult, but start in community theater, you know, really get into it and, and speak from your heart, you know. Use a, use a scene partner, look each other in the eyes and just speak, you know, and that's, that's the most important part is truth and honesty. Don't get it right, get it true. Okay. Once again, I love your performance. I love the character. I love the way you uh, did multi-layers. And again, for your character also, I didn't like him all the time, but I <laughs> love the way you played him. So thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with... Ooh, boy, you're good at that, man. You should be on the radio or something. My name is Townsend Coleman, and I play uh, Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Buchanan. Well, I'm a, I'm a voice actor. I've done a ton of animation. You might have heard me as the original Michelangelo on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I was the tick. I was the voice of NBC comedy promos for 16 years. I do ABC comedy promos now. I'm uh, do the voice. Uh, I'm the voice on the uh, Live with Kelly and Michael promos every day. Uh, you just tell me when to stop. Uh, 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 which character did you play again? Uh, on 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 this in this play? Yeah. I'm Dr. Uh, John Buchanan Senior. I'm the old grumpy doctor. He, you know, he's he's an old country doctor um, back in 1916, and uh, he, he's off to, to, to fight an epidemic um, in another small town not too far away. But uh, uh, the real the real problem is that his his young um, son, his young doctor's son uh, is going in a different direction than he wants him to go, and he's he's a little PO'd about that. Yeah, I, I, again, I love the way you played your character. Again, your character is more straight laced, so he was more the hero. Heroic type, the more father figure, obviously. Well, you're definitely a father figure. I wouldn't call him heroic, but he's he's the gentleman doctor in town. Yeah, and he's just trying to give Alma some good, solid advice and uh, and try and keep her from making a mistake in in her life and the uh, choices she makes and who perhaps she marries or doesn't marry down the road. If one of my viewers actually came by and saw this, what should they expect to see? Top notch. Hollywood intimate theater and and what dude I don't know it's like a play here at Actors Co-op <laughs> it's a, this is this is a really good solid production uh, for sure and it's been a blast to be in a part of it we just opened last night we got a good six week run ahead of us so yeah a lot of my uh, viewers are community theater actors or yeah. they're students yeah. so is there any kind of advice you can give them to help along with their career ooh yes uh, don't do it uh, Go do something else. Yeah, something, something. Like my mom said, uh, when I wanted to go to acting school and was graduating college, she said, no, if I'm going to pay for college, uh, you're going to go study something you can get a job in. So I went to study architecture, and that, that lasted about two seconds, and I became a theater major anyway. So just to go for it. You know, pursue your dreams. Audition for as much stuff as you can. Do as much uh, theater in town as you can. Um, do student films. Do do whatever you can to, you know, to get Keep yourself uh, uh, just occupied with it and busy with it and in, in the business of it. Because uh, if you let yourself sit too long, you know, it just it gets rusty. Trust me, I know. Okay. Once again, I loved your performance. I love the play in general. Thanks, man. Had a lot of fun. Thank you very much for being on the show. My pleasure, dude. Cowabunga! <laughs> Thank you, Michelangelo. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with Marco Antonio Garcia. I've been acting in the South Bay for the last 10 years, uh, just doing theater, TV, film, indies, stuff like that. I played Gonzalez. <laughs> he is the drunk, gun-toting, Mexican, casino-owning 
guy in 1916 Mississippi. I didn't know that they had Mexicans in 1916 Mississippi, but I guess according to Tennessee Williams, they do, right? So. You actually played a bit part here, but actually you played it very well. Really? That is awesome. Thank you very much. I, I enjoy it. It's, you know, it's like they say, you got one job, do it right. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoy it. It was great. Well, it's kind of like, you know, the scenery. It's kind of like the clothing. Every little detail work actually matters. And again, if, if you didn't put your part right, you would, it would have actually showed. Oh, wow. Great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I've heard, uh, I've, I've heard let, let the clothes uh, be the actor, right? And you just roll with it. And costumes. Costumes were great for this show. The costume lady is, is an Ovation Award winning costumer and she just did a, a remarkable job. So that really helps us out a lot. Yeah, yeah so a lot of my uh, viewers are actually community theater actors and students. Uh, any kind of advice? Um, yeah, you know, keep going, getting on stage and doing the work. I mean, training helps, but it's like trying to learn to drive with the car in a garage. The, the more you can get out there and, and, and doing it, the, the more, more you learn. Not only that, but you get to work with some great veteran actors that you just wouldn't get in the class. So, get out there, do it. Okay, once again, great performance. Thank you very much for being on that show. Hey, thank you. Hi, this is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with... Tom Babis, the director of Summer and Smoke. Why do you decide to do this play? Well, you know, this is a company uh, that really decided to do it, and uh, they asked me if I would direct it. And it's something that they've been wanting, wanting to do for some time, but because of the subject matter, it's a little, little tough for them. What do you mean by that? What was so controversial about this? Well, I think that it can come off as an anti-Christian play. This is a company that is uh, Christians on the campus of a, of a Presbyterian church. So I think they were nervous about that. But to me, the play is not so much anti-Christian as it really is about two people looking for authentic love and not finding it. Yes, I believe that um, Tennessee William, he was actually gay. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. Um, I don't know how that deals with this particular play, but other than just everybody just looking for love, really authentic love, and sometimes you're lucky when you find it, I think, you know? Well, I do see how this describes the ugliness in people, their human flaws, but I don't see it as being, um, in a sense, it's almost like, you know, a flower. A flower was created by God, so no matter what happens to it, as long as you describe it clearly and detailedly, you're actually, I guess, pointing towards God and all that. So in a sense, this describes the flaws in the human soul. It describes interaction. So in a sense, it describes it describes something about, you know, uh, about existence, about, about, about the, the universe as a whole. Yeah, I think that this play also, um, being the conflict between the, the flesh and the spirit, I think that, you know, Life is a mess. We live in a mess. And I think that uh, these characters, as well as just us as people, have to find a way to make our way through the mess. Because that's what it is, you know? How do we do that? As a director, one of your most important jobs is actually casting. What do you look for in your casting? Well, I look for um, actors that can really understand character. That actors that are, are real that are not, uh, they don't put it on, they just are. Uh, and I, that are in the moment, and I, I think that's really what it is, the authenticity, just really looking for truth. Uh, I did remember seeing on the website about this being actually a Christian-based, uh, a group of Christian actors and all that, or it being in a church and all that. Uh, so uh, is there some kind of great need out there for a place for Christian actors to be a safe place or something like that? I mean, wh wh what is the, the mission behind this, uh, this group? Well, I think the mission is that um, we, this company has been around for about 24 years. And yes, it is Christian-based, but it's, it's non-denominational. You've got everybody from Catholics to Presbyterians to very conservatives to very liberals. Uh, it's, it, it's, uh, I think that in the world of, uh, of Hollywood, I think there's a place where actors, especially Christian actors, want to come and be able to express uh, art in a place where it is safe to say, you know what, we're going to approach it from a point of view 
that might be different from other other places. And I think that that's what is so glorious about this place is that they do such a variety of plays, and they're not afraid to, of subject matter that might not deal with that, that are not safe for Christians. But it's also great for a Christian audience to come to see things that can expand their minds to say, oh, there's something bigger than just the story. There's something underneath it. What is the meaning of what these plays are about? It's Easter. I mean, this month is Easter. I thought the artistic director, whoever, would actually grab something a little more religious. Because in a sense, it's actually a good time to actually grab something a little more, you know, a little more historical, a little more religious and all that. And there'll be no really big deal about it. Uh, What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, this is not a company that does religious plays. This is a company that does theater, really, real theater, and they really do grapple to uh, to do excellence. That's what they're about: to do excellence in the arts. And I think that the plays that they choose are so varied that um, this is not a company that that does religious plays. Uh, I'm sure there are other places that would do that. As for the acting wise, I thought the acting was excellent tonight. It was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, they're good. I mean, what can I tell you? I mean, it's a company of really strong actors. Now, not all of these actors are company members. If we can't find somebody in the company, we do go outside um, to, to fit a role that might be better suited because they don't have it in the company. Yeah. I like the, I like the strong female character because, again, it's... it's in theater, we, we, we do have strong female characters, but this was, again, a, a classical piece, I might say, because, again, it was Tennessee Williams and all that. I, I've, I've always been impressed with the way he actually has very complex characters. Oh, my gosh. It, tell me about it. This is... A, a, it's... You know, you've got Cat in a Hot Tin Roof. You've got Streetcar Named Desire. This play is uh, so wonderful because it's so... It's, it's almost poetic in its, in its nature. It's realism. It's American realism, but it... it He's just so articulate and so beautiful with his language. Okay. Yeah. Now, once again, I greatly recommend this. I really enjoyed myself. Obviously, a fantastic play. Great actors. So, again, what else, or what else more can you ask for? That's right. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. I really appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much for being on the show. Summer and Smoke by Tennessee Williams will be playing at the Actors Co-op from March 4th to April 17th. For more information, go to www.actorscoop.com actorscoop.org.